Wednesday was day three of this year's Hanguang military exercises. The three branches of the military conducted a joint mission to stop a simulated PLA attempt to take control of the port of Taipei. Armored vehicles, fighter jets and sea mines were deployed during the operation. The drills went smoothly overall, but with an unexpected participant. Right as the exercise started, a member of the public entered the combat site by accident. He was escorted out of the area unharmed. A simulated attack on the coast of Bali in New Taipei kicked off day three of this year's Hanguang exercises. The military drilled an enemy attack to take control over the port of Taipei and an attempt to eliminate Taiwan's leadership via the Danshui River. Red smoke is blown away by the wind. The soldiers wearing a red helmet are playing the role of the attackers from China. The two sides exchange fire on the shore, and the enemies score a win. They then move further inland to seize a camp. At this point is when the fighting gets most intense. It's all dust and explosion sound. Up in the air, an enemy helicopter tries to drop off troops directly at Taipei Harbor. Taiwan takes the opportunity to sweep the coast with clouded leopard armored vehicles before the enemy can get a stable foothold in the area. The armored vehicles force the enemy to retreat, enclosing them from all sides. The mission is finished off with a bombing by Taiwan's indigenous defense fighter, which eliminates all enemy vessels. The Danshui River estuary includes the coast of Bali and the port of Taipei, which are a key area. If the enemy seizes the port of Taipei, it can use cargo ships to rapidly establish a large presence onshore. Taiwan's three military branches can launch a joint operation by assembling and coordinating troops to eliminate the enemy. The exercise came to a close, but not without a hitch. A man dressed in blue entered the combat area, seemingly not knowing that a military exercise was occurring. He walked across the site toward the coast and was less than 100 meters away from a TNT explosion. Soldiers removed him from the area as quickly as possible to prevent any incidents.